This video is going to convince you that AGI is not anywhere near. In fact, the existing Transformers architecture may not take you closer to AGI. Now, this is a lot of personal opinion plus also uh, some results from paper. So take it with a pinch of salt. Let's get started with the video. This is the latest paper from Google, November 3rd. It's from Google DeepMind. The paper is called Pre-Training Data Mixtures Enable Narrow Model Selection Capabilities in Transformer Models. This paper doesn't specifically talk about AGI, but I'll tell you why I said about AGI in this video. Let's go to OpenAI's definition of what they are calling themselves achieving AGI. So according to them, OpenAI's mission is to ensure uh, that artificial general intelligence, AGI, by which we mean highly autonomous systems that outperform humans at most economically valuable work benefits all of humanity. We will attempt to build safe and beneficial AGI and all these kind of things. So according to them, AGI is something that is better than human at uh, most economically, economically valuable work. So for now, let's say that, you know, autonomous systems that outperform humans. Now this could mean anything. Calculators outperform humans in computation. Computers outperform humans in computation. Computers outperform humans in video editing. So it, this could be anything. For now, let us say that if you think about intelligence, maybe AGI is something that outperforms human, like AGI can write a book on itself. AGI can create a theory on itself. AGI can run a company on itself. Let's say this is our baseline. I, I don't say that this is what OpenAI mean. Let's say this is our baseline. What we have been seeing recently in recent times is that the transformers based architecture that has resulted in the auto regressive LLMs, large language models generating text. Now we have got AI agents running companies. We have got AI agents coding. We have got AI agents creating art and all these things. So people have naturally assumed that we are closer to AGI and they've seen sparks of AGI from GPT-4 and all the other things. What this paper is saying that this paper is establishing empirically the transformer models, the same architecture that powers GPT based models and all these things. GPT, the T in the T stands for GPT stands for transformer models. So what this paper establishes is that the transformer models cannot generalize beyond their training data. That means out of distribution of the training data, transformer models cannot generalize. And that is exactly what this paper is establishing empirically and we are going to understand how they have done it. Let's quickly look at what is this paper's abstract is. Transformers models, notably large language models, have remarkable ability to perform in-context learning. What is in-context learning? The model has been trained with some pre-training data, maybe it has got fine-tuned with some fine-tuning data. And during the inference period, like when you are trying to get something from the model, you give some prompt to the model and then you get an output from it. The prompt is the in-context prompt and the model already has got knowledge from the pre-training. So this is basically your in-context learning. To perform new tasks when prompted with unseen input examples, input output examples, without any explicit model training. For example, what do they mean by that? You have got a model, let's say a GPT-3, GPT-4, GPT-5, okay, today is dev day, so maybe we have got GPT-5, I don't know. So let's say we have got all these large language models and what they mean here is that you could have trained a model just to complete the next word, next word prediction token model, next token prediction model could also be used to do sentence classification. You can just simply say, hey, classify the following sentence into either positive or negative, some examples. And now you give your final sentence, what's next? And then it will probably classify it to you in positive or negative. And this is what they mean that in context learning to perform new tasks when prompted with unseen input output examples. A sentence classification or text classification is the unseen input output examples without any explicit model training. In this work, we study how effectively transformers can bridge their pre-training data mixture comprised of multiple distinct task families to identify and learn new tasks in context, which are both inside and outside the pre-training distribution. And uh, they explain a few things. Our empirical results show that transformer models demonstrate near optimal unsupervised model capabilities in their ability to first in context, identify different task families 
in context learn within them when the task families are well represented in their pre-training data. However, when presented with the tasks or functions which are out of domain of their pre-training data, we demonstrate various failure modes of transformers and degradation of their generalization for even simple extrapolation task. Together, our results highlight that the impressive ICL in-context learning capabilities abilities of high capacity sequence models may be more closely tied to the coverage of their pre-training data mixture than inductive biases that create fundamental generalization capabilities. Until now, we have been talking about emergent capabilities, generalization, AGA, and all these things are based on one fundamental fact that transformer models can create something out of distribution, something that it has not seen, it can still create. But what this paper is saying that the, the abilities that we are seeing, the ICL abilities, the brilliant in-context learning abilities, that is all we are seeing. It is not related to the generalization capability of the transformer model, rather the vast coverage of the pre-training data set. In fact, what they are saying is, once you ask the transformer model to, let's say, do something out of distribution, then this model does not have a good generalization capability. In fact, it starts degrading. Now, how did they arrive at this thing? That's a very good question, right? So the way they arrived at this thing is by training a transformer model on a sequence of x of f of x pair. So you have got an input that is x, let's say number two. Then the f of x is some kind of function. You have like some random function and the output of that function. And you can see in their pre-training how they manage to build that thing. So you can, you can see like uh, you have a random function and uh, they have a, um, they have an input and uh, they have an output. So it could be like a cosine function, a sine function, some kind of function. So this is what they used in the pre-training. Now, how do you, how do, how are they looking at out of distribution? They're looking at out of distribution by looking at functions that are not part of the training. So then when they look at out of distribution, they started figuring out that this model does not generalize well. In fact, the performance is quite bad. And you could see this across a lot of different examples of how they said, okay, optimal recovery, pre-trained on sinusoids, pre-trained on both linear and sinusoids, in contact examples provided. So now they are looking at different, different, different frequency, and they started seeing that the model starts degrading or the performance is quite bad when they see on um, different tasks or functions that are not part of the pre-training of the model in itself. So in, in simplicity, the whole mm -hmm. argument of AGI has been around how well the model has been generalizing beyond what the model has learned. And this paper empirically proves that you can see, okay, the, the, the main contribution that they have done here is, okay, we pre-train transformer models for in-context learning user uh, using a mixture of multiple distinct function classes and characterize the model selection behavior exhibited. We study the in-context learning behavior of the pre-trained transformer model on functions that are out of distribution from the function classes in the pre-training data. In the regime studied, we find strong evidence that the model can perform model selection among pre-trained function classes during in-context learning at little extra statistical cost, but limited evidence that the model's in-context learning behavior is capable of generalizing beyond their pre-training data. So if you want to learn one thing from this paper, that is the in-context learning behavior is not capable of generalizing beyond their pre-training data. Now, how is it related to AGI? The whole premise on AGI is that AGI can create something new beyond what humans can do it. Now, this paper actually tells you that the transformer models or the current architecture of transformer models are the current most sophisticated, like everybody is behind these transformer models cannot generalize beyond what the pre-training data set is. In fact, one of the biggest um, critiques of the transformer models or the autoregressive models as Jan Likun, who is considered to be one of the godfathers of AI. So Jan Likun very recently said, do not confuse the approximate retrieval abilities of LLMs for actual reasoning abilities. What he's saying is that transformers are, are all the current LLMs are really good at retrieving. Their retrieval abilities are really good, but their reasoning abilities are not good. Or we are actually confusing between the retrieval ability and reasoning ability. So now we have made an entire argument to say that 
okay the current architecture of large language models predominantly transformer based models do not indicate that agi is any closer because this cannot generalize beyond training data and all the amazing superb capabilities that we are seeing until now is primarily because it has got enough variety of training data like larger data wide range of data variety of data good mixture of data high quality data this is all resulting in really great in context learning ability now i want to leave you with i don't know if it is philosophical or a, it's just a normal question what do you think humans do when they have to learn for example i'm 33 years old and everything that i know is based on what i learned in the last 33 years now based on this argument you can say that you know it doesn't need to have like an emergent capability it doesn't need to have a real generalization because there is nothing called generalization intelligence is all but retrieval not generalization or reasoning i think this is an argument that a lot of people have what about what is agi if agi is all about storing everything in memory receiving it connecting the dots in such a way that you build something new you build create something new based on what i have already learned that is what transformer models are doing it or if you say agi is you know about reasoning agi is about creating something much beyond better than human being maybe agi is not closer i want to just leave you with this thought because i made an entire argument to say that agi is not closer but i also want you to think what is intelligence and let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it see you in another video happy prompting